State Line Road right here divides Arkansas and Texas. That Popeyes across the street, that's Arkansas. I'm currently on the Texas side. And this U-Haul is 5005 North State Line Road. About 40 years ago, the U-Haul and that building behind it was Walsh Lumpkin Drug Company. And back in those days, a man by the name of Daryl Crouch, 36 years of age, was the president of Walsh Lumpkin Drug Company. And he was also the president of Humco Emerson Laboratories and he was the president of Tri-State Surgical Supply Company, which is out of Joplin, Missouri. This guy had his hand in a lot of different ventures and he was quite successful. We're gonna go to February 2nd, 1987. It's about 6.45 p.m. and Daryl is at work and he's meeting his wife and his daughter. They're gonna go to a restaurant to go grab something to eat before they head home. Daryl is driving his Mercedes Benz and his wife, Jan, is in her Lincoln town car. They also have their 10 year old daughter, Sandy, with them. Now, Sandy hugs her dad and they're talking and they all get in their vehicles to make their way to the restaurant. As Sandy's waving bye to her dad, he puts the key into the ignition of his vehicle and a loud boom happens. There's smoke and debris. This was so loud, it was rattling the windows of all these businesses across the street and even down the road from here. So Jan is absolutely frantic. She jumps out of her car to check to see if her husband is still alive. By this time now, the car is on fire and there's smoke billowing out of it. Her and her daughter are trying to get to Daryl and in the process, they burn themselves pretty bad. However, there is nothing that they can do about it. By the time firefighters and police arrived, uh, Daryl uh, was already pronounced dead at the scene. Not many people ever get killed via a car bomb. It's almost like something that happens out of an old fashioned mafia movie. And somewhere right here in this very parking lot on that property, a young man with a family and a very, very promising future, his life was taken by a sadistic, evil bastard with only one intention on his or her mind, and that was for Daryl Crouch to die and die quickly. This murder has gone unsolved for over 35 years. Texarkana law enforcement had contacted the FBI to help and assistance with this case. Now, with all of the evidence that was gathered at the scene and them looking into the records of the drug company, there was no information given on any possible suspects. I don't know if they had a suspect in mind, but they just didn't have enough evidence to indict them or arrest them. There were a couple of interesting footnotes to this case. Now, in the August previous of Daryl's murder, the FDA and local law enforcement in the area were contacted because the drug company had received a letter in the mail uh, with a, an alleged threat uh, of either uh, them possibly somebody was going to start tampering with maybe a product or a drug they were developing uh and it also in this same letter uh there was um the threat of extortion and intimidation uh, maybe they wanted some money or they were going to do something to either an employee of the company or something along those lines also, another curious aspect of this case. 
So like I mentioned earlier, uh, Daryl uh, had a, I guess he wore a lot of different hats as he was the president of three different companies. He was also on the board of directors for the Security Savings and Loan. Now, that previous December before his murder, uh, their quarterly meeting, it was determined that the Savings and Loan had a deficit of $82 million. That's a lot of money. Was it an angry investor? Was it somebody that had a bone to pick? Maybe it was an employee of one of his businesses that he felt that Daryl possibly uh, did him dirty in a possible deal. Who knows? This is the final resting place of Daryl Crouch. Kind of curious because he is kind of in a section by himself. Now, this whole section, you know, it's a normal cemetery where there's graves right next to each other. But all right here is empty. And this guy, uh, he was, I guess, was doing well in life. So I'm curious if uh, possibly the family bought this entire plot uh, for them to be laid to rest together in the near future. That's what I'm guessing. But um, this was a pretty, uh, this was a pretty big story uh, back in 1987 here in North Texas. And, you know, the FBA, the FBI, excuse me, and the FDA investigating this crime for X amount of months or years and nothing. There is nothing. If anybody has any information on the unsolved murder of Daryl Crouch, please contact the FBI, 1-800-CALL-FBI. You can also submit your tip anonymously online, fbi.gov. Lamont at large, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.